Welcome to Neurology News Network. I'm Jenna Pasco. Let's get into the news from this week. Deep brain stimulation may increase the risk of dementia and cognitive decline in patients with Parkinson's disease who also have mild cognitive impairment. The results found that disease duration, but not age, at the time of DBS surgery was significantly related to the risk of developing dementia. Ultimately, those treated with subthalamic DBS deteriorated by 1.6 points per year on the modified Mattis Dementia Rating Scale, and preoperative MCI correlated with conversion to dementia. The investigators concluded that the study provides long-term results of cognitive decline in DBS-treated patients with pre-surgical MCI, possibly predicting the conversion to dementia. A novel ALS diagnostic index has been shown to reliably differentiate ALS from mimicking disorders at an early stage in the disease pathology, according to new research. The prospective multi-center study ultimately found that the ALSDI, which includes clinical phenotyping, conventional peripheral neurophysiology, and transcranial magnetic stimulation measures, dependently distinguished ALS from other neuromuscular disorders. The reference standard was the AWAJI criteria, which was applied to all patients at recruitment. Preliminary findings from the IGNITE DMD trial have shown positive signs for solid biosciences microdystrophin gene transfer therapy, SGT001, which have led to the company's desire to dose escalate as planned and as soon as possible, Solid announced. The phase 1-2 dose ascending trial is evaluating the safety and efficacy of the gene therapy in Duchenne muscular dystrophy. The initial three-month biopsy data from the first three patients dosed showed levels of microdystrophin protein expression. Solid is currently engaging with the appropriate parties to move things forward. For more direct access to expert insight, head to neurologylive.com. This has been Neurology News Network. Thanks for watching.